What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my little craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today I don't exactly have a crafting video, but I do have a crafting related video for you. I did do some shopping this weekend. I might have done some shopping and I bought some stuff for my craft room. Um, my craft room is set up, but it's not exactly set up how I want. So I'm still trying to like organize it and um, I need to decorate it, so I bought some stuff to decorate, and I need to kind of upgrade some bins and some baskets that I've had for a while, so I bought uh, some new stuff. Not exactly done, but um, today me and my friend Rick, we went thrift shopping, and uh, we hit, we went thrift shopping for about six hours, yeah. So since like nine o'clock in the morning, we've been going to thrift shops and such and such. So let me get the big stuff out the way here. I bought this big wire basket, and this was, I think, so these were all at thrift shops. Um, this was two bucks, yeah, two dollars for this really big wire basket, which I plan, of course, on putting probably books, maybe even fabric in here, so I thought this was great. Two bucks, can't beat that anywhere. Um, let's see what else, let's see what's in this bag. Okay, try not to break stuff, because some stuff was glass i got three of these little baskets here now on the camera they look really blue but in person they're a little bit more teal hi river city creative hi uh god's desire for me was it desiree was your name oh gosh what was your name and there's richard <laughs> i got a lot of baskets see these are the smallest baskets i got really small there's three of them there's three of them here and these were a dollar each so i thought that's great I got three of those, so I'm going to use them either to decorate or to actually put stuff in, and these are ceramic, so these are really, really cute, Diana, Diana, sorry, these are really, really cute ceramic uh, baskets here, hi, Deline, and I got this really cool, it's, it's supposed to be like a letter holder, you know, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use it for, probably uh, to organize or to put some ephemera that maybe I'm trying to use that day. And this was a dollar. No, no, this was 50 cents because it was 50% off green tags. So these I got at the Salvation Army. This is my little haul at the Salvation Army. Um, so that was a good haul there. Let's see what else. We went to like, how many, like six, seven thrift shops? Okay. Okay, let me see what's in this bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this really cool. Okay, so before I started, I should have showed you guys. Um, <sighs> okay, so the inspiration for the inspiration for my decor, my whole color scheme is this. This is the inspiration for how I want um, the color scheme in my uh, craft room to be. So it is black, gold, beige, an orange, uh, teal, and even like fuchsia. This is literally the color scheme that I want my office to be. So right now, all of my all of my shelves, my shelving units, and my desks are black. So that goes with the black here. So we're gonna have a lot of uh, gold, and that's also why I bought this because that goes with the teal. You see how that kind of matches. That's also why I bought these teal little baskets. So this is the color scheme we're going for right here. That is exactly what I want my office to be. Okay, so there's that. Um, I bought, I'm trying to take everything out in, in, uh, in order. These are from Savers and I got this for $2.50. I got a lot of items at Savers for like two bucks, $2.50. So this was $2.50. And I thought I could just use it to organize or to put flowers, you know, like uh, I'm trying to upgrade my non-cute mugs that I keep tools in. Boo! -boo. That little boy, he's looking at something. Okay. Uh, I bought this little bird. I thought this little bird would be cute to decorate. It's got gold and you could actually put a little satchel of uh, like potpourri on the inside of it. But I just thought that was just a sweet little looking bird. And again, it goes with my color scheme. Check out the color scheme. <laughs> so I really feel like that looks good. It's gonna look cute um, amongst my other items. Let's keep going. 
Okay, so I found these really cool, I guess these are candle holders. I found these really cool candle holders that I thought would look cool, obviously, like on my wall. I'm obviously going to put candles on them, but I thought these would look really cool. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to decorate you guys. Like, I literally have no idea. I bought all this stuff, but I don't know what, to, what I'm going to do with it. So I still have to think of stuff, but I wanted to get a bunch of cheap stuff. And this was uh, $2.50 each, so it was $5 for the pair. These were 50% uh, off, so I went a little crazy with things that were $2.50. I just kept grabbing $2.50 items. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, this is probably the coolest thing I found. Now, none of this stuff is exactly, like, vintage or expensive. I mean, everything, this cost me... 350 so nothing in my house or in my office is going to be expensive or name brand or anything like that everything's a thrift shop and it's just for the aesthetic i'm not looking to like actually look fancy or anything but i like fancy looking stuff that's cheap but look at how cool that design is on that and i don't think there's a hole at the top i don't know what for but <laughs> i think it's gonna look really cool up on my shelves this is just such a pretty design and again, it goes with the whole aesthetic of this little jar here. You know how it looks like they'd go together. So I thought that that would look really cool. So that's why I bought this. Uh, pretty much it's a useless just decor, <laughs> literally just decor. It does nothing. It functions as nothing. Okay. Um, I got this clock because it looked really vintage. It's not. It's plastic. It's, it's definitely not vintage. It's not worth anything. <laughs> But I bought it for $250 because I thought it would look cool on display along with all these little things. Again, keeping in mind this jar that I want to match. So that's why I got it because it kind of was in theme. It's in uh, color scheme and everything. I don't think it works. It's just, it's just for show. It's just to decorate. It, nothing functions. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then I also bought this, uh, it's just to hang stuff on. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to hang on it, but it was only a dollar. So I'm like, let's do it. So I bought it. It's gold. I'm like, it's in the color scheme. We'll figure out what's actually hang from there later. I don't know. But I'm like, I just was kind of grabbing everything that was gold and beige and black. So, <laughs> oh, right. And then I bought this gigantic gold plated, like, I don't know what this is going to be a trash can. Am I going to put a plant? I'm not sure what exactly this is for, but I thought I could use it for something like even a trash can. This would make a really cool trash can because I don't really actually, you know, have messy trash. It's all usually paper and fabric scraps. So I thought that this was, was really cool. This was only uh, 350. So I'm like, hey, let's do it. <laughs> okay. And, um, I also got this beige, like, book paper magazine, a magazine holder, that's what it is. A magazine holder. Uh, they were going to make a lap out of it. So this was, uh, it's just a magazine holder, which I thought was really in color scheme. It's beige, got some brown, and this is technically like a bronze, goldish type finish. But it's just paper, nothing fancy. Um, and I thought it was in good condition for a dollar. I'm like, I'll take it for a dollar, sure. Why not? So I got that. I just like the way everything looks. It looks like it all goes to a set. I really feel like I'm doing something, okay? Oh, right. And um, on Friday, I didn't go live Friday either. On Friday, I went thrift shopping with my mom. We love thrift shopping. I grew up thrift shopping with her, so we still go thrift shopping to this day. So I went thrift shopping, and I bought... That right there, it is a two-drawer uh, filing cabinet, which I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. What's up, boo-boo? What's up, boo-boo? So um, it's, I bought it because it's like a little mauve color. It's not brown. It looks a little brown on camera, but it is like a dusty, dusty lilac. So that's why I thought it was a cool color. I'm not even exactly sure where I'm going to put it in my office, but I'm going to find a spot for it. Um, so I bought these hangers, these file hangers for it. So now I have file hangers. I don't know if I'm gonna put, I might put my shipping stuff in here. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but either that or paper. I'm gonna just like tear apart all my books and file them away like that. So I don't know, I don't even know if that was a good deal on those files. 
I got a bunch of them. I got like two sets of them for like a dollar each. So like two dollars for all these file folders. Um, I thought that was a good deal. Okay, I got this really cool plate, you guys. Check this out. It's not vintage. It's not worth anything. It's made in <laughs> it's made in China. I got it at the thrift shop for three dollars. But look how cool that is. These colors. It has like a really dusty gold. It looks vintage. It looks really like dingy. But, <laughs> but again, again, look at the aesthetic. It just goes along with this jar. So this this jar is what I'm like imagining in my head as I pick out my decor. So I thought that this, uh, it's a plate actually. It's a plate. So I need to figure out how I'm going to hang it or display it. I'll worry about that later. But this is a really cool plate. Um, $3. So I was happy about that. Um, I got this basket. This like wire basket. Um, this was $2. And I'm just going to probably use it to put fabric in. Like all my scrap pieces of fabric that don't go in the uh, shelving unit that they're in. So I'll probably put this off to the side or on top. I'm not exactly sure. But for $2.50, I thought it was a good deal. It's a really nice size uh, wire basket. Apparently today was the day that I bought wire baskets. <laughs> I bought this other wire basket. It's like dark green because there's green in this. In this, it looks like a teal but green. So I thought this would be a good um, uh, color. I'm not trying to get everything gold and I'm not trying to get everything white, but I am trying to get different colored things that go in the color scheme of things. And then I found this really cool basket which I'm gonna sit on my desk and put all my cups with all my tools in them. And that way I can move them side to side if I need to. And it's just one unit that I move around. So I thought this was a great find. I don't know exactly what it's worth. It looks like it's something for the bathroom. But this is five, this was 250 because this was half off. So 250 off this. I didn't think that was a bad deal at all. I thought that was a great deal for this basket. Again, I'm gonna keep all my cups here with my tools on my table. So that way I can move it aside or move it to the toilet, you know to another desk so i thought this one was a really really good purchase you can buy plate hangers yes that's what uh rick was telling me plate hangers okay we're getting down to the end we're only what like 12 15 minutes in okay that's fine okay so then i also bought this this plastic basket which i thought was cool um this was i don't even know how much this was i don't even know how much they charged me so I just noticed there's no tag on it. So I don't know. I hope I paid like a dollar. <laughs> I don't even know how much they charge for that. Oh, and um, I bought these really cool flower alphabet cards. Now these are actually, you know, for junk journals. So I wasn't really looking exactly for junk journal stuff. I was getting, I was being really picky. Um, but these are really cool. Um, they have really cool illustrations on them. So I thought they were pretty. So I bought them. They were only a dollar. So I'm like, okay, get it. Oh, I bought this painting, which I feel like I'm going to, the, the side is gold, but it's not a gold I like. So I think I'm going to paint the frame black. So I thought that's cool. <laughs> I'm actually online right now. <laughs> April, why do you always make me laugh every time I see you, girl? Every time I see your name, I just start laughing. Okay, so there's this really cool painting. It's actually really big, but I have a lot of wall space to cover, so I need a lot of big decoration. So, again, this is going to be uh, for decor. Oh, and I went to Ikea yesterday. I went to Ikea yesterday, and I bought more of my favorite trays. I bought four of them. I love these trays. These are the Antonius. Antonius trays from um, Ikea. These are just the perfect size compartments. I've been looking for uh, like slotted trays to keep my ephemera in. And I like the ones that are on Amazon, but they were just too expensive. And then I had this idea to get wooden cassette tape holders, uh, but they were just too expensive online. And I mean, good luck trying to find like a bunch of them that look the same. I kind of like to have bins that all look the same. So I bought these bins from Ikea because I've already loved them. So I had to have more. These, you guys definitely have to get these at Ikea Antonius trays. 
And I also got some of their, uh, I think this is three gallon, they're three gallon containers at Ikea. And I think I'm going to slowly but surely replace all of my containers with uh, containers for my kids. I just really like the whole clear plastic look um, rather than the other baskets I have. So I think I'm gonna switch over to these. We'll see how that goes. Um, but that's it, you guys. That was my whole little organization haul. So now when I do my um, my craft room update video, which I have not because I don't have a camera I can move around, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I'll show you. I'm going to clean up this week and maybe do a, like a before and after because you can see how I have it now. There's no decorations up on the wall. Everything is blank. I still have to buy shelves um, so that I can actually like start to decorate and make everything look pretty and stuff like that so you guys that's my video for today i'll be back tomorrow to be doing some crafty things i think we're going to be sewing up embellishments um is what i'm going to be doing i did a lot of ruffles over the weekend i made a lot of ruffles over the weekend so that's what i did this week <laughs> just make all these ruffles and i just ordered a thing called the ruffler on Amazon, a ruffle foot. So I'm gonna be trying out the ruffle foot tonight. If I'm good at it, then I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow during the live. But you guys, that is pretty much my little haul that I went uh, shopping uh, today. All these thrift shops, I was excited. Rick got tired out, he, he tapped out on me, you guys. I was kind of sad. <laughs> There's enough thrift shops here in, my, in Las Vegas you can go for like two like two days uh, straight. You can just go from thrift shop to thrift shop to thrift shop. So many thrift shops here in town, it's really not even funny. Um, but those are the things that I got today. And just so you guys know, again, this is going to be the color scheme. This is kind of like the idea for my uh, craft room. That's what I'm going for. I'm not really a professional at all. And I've never actually decorated a house or my house. I don't know. Anyways, you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this little video. And uh, Boo Boo, say bye, Boo Boo. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, Boo Boo.